Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today I'm gonna to give you two quick tips on how to improve your public speaking skills. This is something that I'm still on a journey on myself, so I haven't reached perfection by any means, but I wanna share the things that I am still learning with you. So the first tip is the way that you practice. When I talk to so many people about the way they practice for a presentation, they tell me I go over my script X number of times in my head, or I practice it out loud by looking at my computer and going through my PowerPoint. Well, Vince Lombardi said practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. It's my very first keynote presentation live in, since the pandemic. So in over a year, I've been doing presentations virtually. So therefore, I've had my PowerPoint in front of me. I'm having to do a live presentation. So I was practicing by looking at my computer when really I needed to be practicing by looking out there at my fictitious audience with the presentation on the screen behind me. So practicing the way that you're gonna be giving your presentation will help you get that presentation down so much more effective than if you're silently going over it or just reading it out loud or looking at it on your computer. Actually standing up, as my mentor, Roddy Galbraith says, to actually practice just like you're gonna be giving it. If you're giving a presentation standing up, then practice standing up. Another way that you wanna practice for your presentation is, what are you gonna say when you first get up there? Don't skirt over, well, I'm happy to be here this morning. What actually are you gonna say? And rehearse that part as well, as well as your ending. And my second tip is, share personal stories. And let me show you the power of this. I was given a presentation and I was actually filming myself. So after my presentation, I went back home and I was looking at the recording and I could see not only myself, but I could see this one woman that was sitting at the front close to where I was speaking. And she didn't look engaged at all during the first part of my presentation. And I started thinking, oh my gosh, was I that boring? But then I was watching her and at this one point during my presentation, I said, and now I wanna tell you what this looks like. I wanna share a story about my dog named Sherman. And her head immediately went up. She stayed so engaged in the rest of my story and presentation. So no, people want to hear stories about ourselves. They make the presentation so much better and we're revealing something about ourselves. The key here is don't always make yourself out to be the hero in your stories. You know, you're up there speaking, so you already have credibility with people. People wanna hear your challenges. They wanna hear about something that you've overcome in the past or a challenge that you're still having today. People connect with real people. And the more real we are by sharing personal stories, the more that they feel connected with us. Just make sure that your story fits in with your point. Don't try to stick a story in when it doesn't really belong. My tips today are practice doesn't make perfect, perfect practice makes perfect, and share personal stories when possible. I hope you like this video, and if you do, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel.